Hey there, I hope you're doing good. Today I'm going to do a swipe and I had a viewer that said why don't you ever do a rainbow color with starting with the red, orange, yellow, green to blue, purple. Starting with the red, I guess for some reason I usually start with purple and then blue and red and so I'm going to try to go in the order that you would see an actual rainbow. So today I've got Artist Loft White Flow Acrylic and black. I'm not sure if I'm going to use the black or white. I think I might use the black. I'm just not sure. Everything is mixed one-to-one -one ratio with Oatrol Easy Flow, which is like Floetrol in the United States, but this is a European company. You get this from their website, Oatrol.com, USA.com, OatrolUSA.com, or Amazon. That's the only way you can get it, but it's fabulous. It's really good quality. One-to-one ratio and my colors are Artist Loft Brilliant Red, Orange, Brilliant Yellow, Emerald Green, Turquoise, Creative Inspirations by Jerry's Artorama, Ultramarine Blue, Master's Touch from Hobby Lobby, Purple which is like a violet or a pale lavender color. I actually added a little bit of the deeper purple to it. The deeper purple is a mixture of Soho Urban Artist Acrylic Dioxazine Violet and Liquitex Basics Prism Violet. So those are my colors. I'm going to do a 16 by 20 canvas. I've got my damp paper towel that I'm going to swipe with. I have put a drop, one drop, not a pump, just one tiny drop. So you barely press down and get one drop. And I put it in all of the colors. Stir it maybe a two times and that's it. You don't stir a lot and you don't put a lot. You don't need a bunch of this to make it be magical. The key with OGX is less is more. So you don't put a ton of OGX in your paint. So I'm going to use basically the rainbow colors. I have added a turquoise and a lighter purple just for fun. So I'm going to start at the top and use my red. Then the orange. And I did add water to these colors because they're two paints and the two paints are thicker. They have to have water added to them to make them fluid enough. Do the yellow. Green. This one is emerald green. It's one of my favorite greens. I'm not a big green fan, but I love the emerald green. It's very bright and cheerful. Turquoise. So I added in turquoise. You, you know, may or may not see turquoise in a real rainbow, but it goes to the turquoise blue purple tones at the one edge of a rainbow. So the strip of light purple, and then this deep purple here. Now, I'm not taking it to the end of the canvas because it's already too much paint and you just end up wasting it, but I do have a cup of magenta and I'm going to add it right here just to fill in some color because it'll probably be swiped off anyway and I had the extra. So I'm just going to use my finger down here to just kind of spread it to the end of the canvas because like I said that paint's going to be swiped this way anyway. You can tilt, well you can go this way and kind of help your colors 
blend in with each other a little better. Then come back this way. You can go that way and go off the edge a little bit. Back this way. There's no perfect science to swiping. You just want to make sure your edges are covered. Make sure that you put the right color that dripped down. The main thing is that you just have color everywhere. So, and I can take my finger and just kind of dab it just to kind of fill in the spaces. It doesn't really, really matter. But that's basically the true, that's the true representation right there of a rainbow is red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. But I added a, a turquoise and a dark purple and a light purple just to give it some variation. I'm going to try to get this red up here a little bit higher. I'm going to make sure there's plenty of paint up here. Now, what color do I swipe with? Do I swipe with white or do I swipe with the black? I guess I'll swipe with the white. I'm going to take some and put it in a, another cup. I'm not going to use all this that's in here, but I want to add a little bit more water and make it a little bit more fluid. It has no OGX in it. It's just white oatrol and water. That way it's nice and wet. I'm going to take my paper towels. I've got three sections that are as wide as my canvas is. And I just want to make sure that it's straight on the end so it will, you know, lay as close to being flat as I can. So I'm going to lay it down in the white. And lightly drag. You can also just tap it against the end of your canvas to make sure those colors continue over the edge there if, if you didn't get it right the first time. So I'm just tapping my paper towel with the color at the end here. pretty good cells coming up. I'm just going to let it sit for a few minutes. That's the nice part about OGX is just kind of being patient and waiting. Waiting to see what happens.
So it was a little thin on this end, so I'm just adding thicker white paint here, letting it trickle over the edges. I'm going to give it a few minutes to sit. So the white is thicker here and it's been a little stubborn. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swipe it again just for the heck of it. Just to see what happens. If you don't like it, you can always do something over it. So I'm getting my paper towel ready. I like to kind of bundle up the other end so it doesn't drag down or fall into your paint. Let it lay down in the white. And let it sit again. But the heat gun does not help with the cells, but I know there's cells under there. I'm going to try the blow dryer. Mm. 
That does not work either. So I'm going to turn it around and blow myself to get these cells to come up. I use my tubing so my head won't be in the way. I like the purple. And it's intermingled with the blue green which is pretty. So this is not like a, a significant rainbow pour but I do like it. Just curious. If I do a regular straw or the tubing, I guess it doesn't really matter. So you can kind of create your own effect however you want to do it. There is no right way to do it. Every pour is totally different from the next one. I don't like this dark. to break it up some with the white. It still has a rainbow effect, but it's just kind of, you know, cattywampus. And that's okay. Have y'all ever heard the word cattywampus? I know you have. I like it though.
It's pretty. I love anything colorful, so I'm happy with it. And I'm just making sure that my colors are on the sides where they should be. So I'm going to try to lift this up so you can see it without messing up the cells anymore. I just blew in the corners to put some color there because it was kind of missing color at the end. But, so it goes from red, orange, yellow, green to blue and lots of purple because I stretched it out. But I had fun with it. I could even stretch it back a little bit, but I'm not going to. I want to keep pretty much the look that it is. I love it. So I'm going to take this and put it aside. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll talk to you and see you next time.